What's up everyone? So as I was tightening up the coaster brake assembly onto uh, the 36 tooth rag joint and tightening everything up, I started to realize that the tire was not turning anymore and I was baffled. But then an episode of LA Hover popped into my head and I actually remembered him talking about installing the rag joint specifically and what he talked about, I believe, I haven't watched the video, I'm gonna go back and watch it, but he talked about removing material away from these sprockets <clears throat> so that way they don't rub. And I think that's exactly what I'm going through right now because <laughs> once I removed the rag joint, or excuse me, yeah, once I removed the rag joint, took off the sprocket, I can slightly see some rubbing right there. It's hard to see with the camera focus. And I'm holding the camera, it's not still, so. What I did was took a Sharpie and just a quick outline of what material I would like to take away from this entire setup. And I believe we'll go from here. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and get right at it. We got the 36 tooth sprocket nice and mounted up on my desk. Again, another project where advice would be absolutely a game changer. I don't have a ton of battery life, so we're just going to get crack locking. I have opted to use um, just a sandpaper to go ahead and dremel out a little bit of material out. I'm not going to go all the way where this black line goes. I just wanted some kind of somewhat of a consistency around. I will have to go ahead and get into these little connections hopefully the lighting is good I got a mask on just for my protection I got glasses on and I'm also gonna put a hat on as well just so if any flakes get up in my hair I can hopefully just falls right off instead of getting up there so it's gonna be noisy guys I'm gonna go ahead and put my Dremel up on this little foam pad so it's maybe a little bit less noisy for you guys I got the speed set at 25 Again, just gonna use this sandpaper for now and see what we can get material moved off like. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna I love me, well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and switched to a cutting bit. It's just taking forever with the sander, so I've never used one of these before. Figured instead of the first time ever using some kind of cutting tool, probably shouldn't be on a cylinder. My thought process is it might be a little bit better on something like this. So I think we're good to go. It'll be a learning experience. It's nice and tight. Nice and hot. Go ahead and see what I can do with this. All right, hold on guys. Alrighty guys, that definitely removes much, much more material than I could have hoped for. So hopefully that doesn't screw up this bit too much. It looks just fine. Maybe a little scuffed up, but again, this little kit that I bought, I think it was only like 15 bucks. So really, nothing to complain about here. I feel some little, oh, you can see all the, all the shiny. 
So we're definitely getting more material taken off. Stay tuned and we'll go ahead and uh, show you what the final product looks like uh, for real vehicle. Alrighty friends, well I went ham in there. Probably not great, I took off way more than I intended to, but I was having fun. I got glitter for days, glitter for days. I'm gonna kind of waddle over to the vacuum and suck most of this off of me and then bring it over here and get the rest of it. We have started to mount the 36 tube sprocket onto the coaster brake tire assembly. So with that being said, everything's looking good. I'm going to tonight do some more research and make sure I get this adjusted correctly. It appears that we have plenty of clearance from this right there. I wonder if I have something I can poke that with. Oh, jeez, I moved all my stuff. Oh, that's what I get for cleaning. Anyways, so once I secure this onto the rim itself, we should have plenty of clearance for the hub assembly, for the bearings to spin freely with no touching. The next challenge what's going to be though is aligning this correctly as well on the rim. Here we are once again reinstalling the rag joint. So looking forward I already have the metal bracket down on this side. We're going to go ahead and place this metal bracket down on this other side. So it's not always quite a straight shot. You got to kind of finagle some of the bolts. It's hard to tell on this other side but I got another bolt trying to play. A little bit of whack-a-mole with me, so I'm just going to try to get something to kind of hook and pull it in. This side's going down pretty nicely. Alright, there we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Going for a ride. Go ahead and slap it down. Try to get it lined up fairly well. Ah, there we go. That'll straighten it out a little bit. Excellent. We'll go ahead and put on some lock washers and then we're gonna slap on some bolts onto these bad boys pretty excited should have worked out well went ahead and going back to these teflon threads and the other bolts the other bolts that i bought with the 36 tooth sprocket kit from cdh power they came with those metal grip ripper things in there i don't know if you guys remember that but as i was uninstalling it it absolutely just tore up the bolts super disappointed with that so that's like a one and done kind of thing would not recommend it so we're gonna go back with the old ones that work just fine makes sense in my head just want to show you where we're at what we're experiencing what we did was we removed all this material on the sides of the sprocket so that way as this spins freely it's not touching said sides of said sprocket at all so i can go ahead now go back and adjust this back and forth get my up and down back and forth and get everything lined out on the bike like i was hoping for I do think that this axle is bent. I don't know if you could probably tell on there, but I think like right there it's coming towards you guys and then bucking out a little bit, coming around, and then coming back to you guys again. So I think no matter what, we're going to have wobble in the wheel. I'm just going to stick with this angle for now, so it's feeling really good, guys. Feeling a lot better. Ah, oh, man. Wow. I think this thing's gonna spin for a minute. But the tire is actually flexing a little bit, and I think that's where we're just getting a little bit of actual bend in the axle there. So, backtracking a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and watch our little zip tie contraption. You can kind of see right where that really starts to move is where that dent is. No matter how loose or how tight I go everywhere else, it always just goes back to that spot when I'm truing this thing. You can just see where that just 
whoop, really whoop right there. Whoop. And that's just a dent, I believe. So with that also being said, I'm pretty impressed with the little sprocket setup because I got it pretty well, whoop, spun out on me. Got it pretty well trued onto this tire. I'll keep bumping it, sorry. It's hard to tell with this angle. But you just see just the littlest pop that just bumps out. And then we go back here again, bad angle, but you can see that it looks pretty okay. Pretty okay, in my book. Put the chain on. I have it on jack stands on both sides, so I have a little bit more stability, plus the tripod kickstand that I always put on for maintenance stuff. It's not perfect guys, but it's pretty darn good in my opinion. It's gonna get us to point A to point B a little quicker. This is not at all gonna be um, the, taint, the chain tensioner I'm gonna use. I will upgrade to one of those moon shaped ones so I just have a little more stability, I think a little bit more overall control. But with that being said, here we go. It's turning pretty good guys. Overall, very happy with it. Chain alignment seems pretty good. Hard to tell, bad angle. Not good camera zoom. All things I can't avoid right now. Holding up pretty good though. I would say, let's give her one more spin. Why not, right? Oh, why not another one? Excellent guys. So that is the full video on how to install a sprocket, or excuse me, how to install a rag joint and how to hollow out your sprocket if you're trying to put it onto a coaster brake. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed, subscribe, like, please, please just have a good day. It's Grendel's Garage, it's your boy James. You guys have a good one, we're out.